Tomislav Jakic is a journalist and former Croatian presidential advisor. He told me what kind of president Milanovic might be. He should be both a left-wing president and the president of uh, all Croatian citizens, uh, meaning that he must and I, I stress this, he must live up to the basic principle of social democracy, at the same time having in mind that he is, uh, he will or become the president of a strongly divided country, a country divided uh, uh, between a part of population leaning towards social democracy and a not insignificant part leaning towards conservatism or even towards the right-wing right political spectrum. You talk about divisions in the country, but what else might hold him back from being able to live up to and to realize those pre-election goals and what he stood for? I hope nothing. I hope that he, he will really, uh, contrary to his uh, predecessor, live up to his promises because uh, he, he made just two basic uh, promises. One was, uh, I am a president with character. I expect him to show this character in the next five years. And the second promise was, I will make Croatia a normal country again. Now, it is a largely ceremonial role, but he will have a say in foreign policy and defense and in security matters. So, so what do you expect? What's it going to take, as you say, to, to make Croatia normal again? <laughs> uh, it, it will take him to, to go back to the Croatian foreign, foreign policy as it was uh, during the 10 years of the second Croatian president, Mr. Stjepan Mesic, meaning that Croatia would lean much more on Europe than on the United States, meaning that Croatia will open itself again to the rest of the world, uh, meaning that Croatia will not try to escape, which is basically uh, impossible, escape from the region. So uh, Croatia must wage a new policy towards its neighbors. Now, talking of its neighbors, this week Croatia takes on that rotating EU Council presidency. What, what can the EU's youngest member bring to the table? What can they do? It can, and this might uh, sound a little bit pathetic, but I really do think that it can do it. It can help uh, the European Union to survive. And uh, one of the main tasks in the next half, uh, half year, in the next six months, would be to facilitate the process of Brexit.